Hello. I thought, um, oh, this is Theresa again. Sorry about that. Um, I thought I'd show you. I've just poured my first batch of cold process soap. Um, the lye was not nearly as scary as I thought it was going to be. And um, I think it turned out alright. Um, this recipe only gave me about, well, uh, you can see, the, the bar is about... Um, let's see here. It's going to be about two inches tall, so that's not too bad, but there's a problem. Um, I got everything done. I, uh, temperatured out my lye and all that, mixed it all together, used my little, um, blender, the blend it all, stick blender to blend it all, but there's a matter of this little container. And this little container are all the pretty smellies that I mixed up for this batch. <laughs> so, in my hurry to mix everything together and get it just right, it's not going to be right. Um, well, it might be right, but it just ain't going to smell as good as I thought it was going to. So, yeah. Anyway. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take before I'll be able to pour. Um, I mean, to unmold and cut. Um, I think they said, like two days is is a good time I'll do some more research to make sure before I even attempt it but this one's gonna be small so um, I'm definitely thinking that I'll have to double my batch to to uh, meet this bigger mode here so but for now this is a good start I'm, I'm feeling through the mode I could still feel that it's warm so but anyway um, yeah this is my first batch um, I think I hope I did it right. <laughs> I've been watching a, a lot of uh, a lot of videos trying to identify what Trace looks like, and and I think I found it. Um, of course, you know everybody says that your first batches don't work out, so we'll see. But as you can see, even the most well thought out plans don't always go right. <laughs> and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this scent. Uh, I, I might, I guess, maybe I could melt melt up a a batch of of uh yeah <laughs> of body butter or uh, body lotion or something like that put it in or I could just cap it and make an, uh, a second batch of soap tomorrow I think I think that's what I'll do I have a lid for this this bow here um, so well actually I don't have a lid because that bow goes to this little beauty can you see that it's a, a Betty Crocker grater. I got it at the Dollar Tree. I don't know if you have those where you are, but in the Dollar Tree, everything is a dollar. They actually have a website online you can buy in bulk. Um, you can buy everything by cases, but everything in the case is a dollar. Um, but I figured out, I couldn't figure out why they would be selling Betty Crocker at the Dollar Tree. And we all know that you can see, I think you can see there, Betty Crocker. Um... I couldn't figure out why they would be selling it because we all know, well, I know Betty Crocker to be a pretty good brand, but as it turns out, um, if you can, I don't know if you can see there, um, the Betty Crocker, the, the word Betty Crocker, the paint doesn't adhere right. Let me see if I can find a better example. Here you go. They also have the measuring spoons. Can you see that there? The words, they're all gone. Yeah. So anyway, um, I thought I'd share my first batch. Um, we'll see how it turns out. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.